Hello everybody, this is Jeff at eTrailer.com. Today we're going to take a look at this Tireminder Bluetooth TPMS for RVs with this LCD monitor and 10 of the external sent tire sensors. Now this TPMS system will let you monitor your RV's tire pressure and temperature via this included LCD monitor, or you could even use your own personal smartphone. It is designed to work great with your motorhome, fifth wheel, or trailer. Now if you do use your own smartphone, this is my iPhone right here, you just download the TireMinder app and it'll let you use the smartphone as a monitor. It receives notifications on your Bluetooth enabled smartphone. It offers optional, optional data logging, which will let you review the changes in pressure and temperature over the course of your trip. And it is iPhone, iPad, and Android compatible. Now this kit does come with this large, easy to read LCD monitor, provides early warning detection with visual and audible alerts. And just to show you, if you push the button right up at the top here, that'll turn it on and you can see it's showing monitoring. And if you want to attach your sensors, what you'll do is push both of these at the same time, the up and down arrow, and you'll go to the learn screen and it'll show you all 22 positions. You can monitor up to 22 tires with this. And then once you put your batteries in your sensor, attach it to your vehicle, it'll show up and then you put it to whatever position you want it at. And then to get out of that screen, just again push both of them for about five seconds, goes back to the monitoring. Now if you want to change right now, it's showing PSI. If you push it, then it shows temperature, Fahrenheit. If you want to change those settings, what you can do is hold that middle button for about five seconds. And you can see it says baseline and the PSI is flashing. If you push it, it'll go down to bar. So you can read it in either PSI or bar. Go back to PSI. And if you push the button, it goes over to the temperature. It's showing Fahrenheit. Push the up and down arrow, it goes to Celsius. So you can put it at whatever one you want to read it in. Once you're all set, just go ahead and hold that down five seconds, and it'll put you back to the monitoring position. <clears throat> so a very simple operation of the monitor. It has a nice operating manual that'll describe all the features of it. It still has received, uh, or it'll detect blowouts, significant pressure changes, and tire temperatures exceeding 167 degrees. It does refresh automatically with new tire information about every four minutes. And it does offer a color display, which will show warnings in red and yellow, makes it easy to read quickly. It does come with this included USB charger that will plug right here into your 12-volt accessory outlet. Or in the back, you can flip down and plug into a wall outlet. It does come with this micro USB charging cable. Now the 10 tire sensors right here it comes with, these will check tire pressure and temperature every six seconds. They are a brass construction. They're designed for use on rubber, steel, chrome, or nickel valve stems. They do use upgraded sensors to provide accurate reading within one PSI. And the sensors do install very easily onto your tires valve stem. They just screw on. It does come with this locking hardware. Basically, you can put a jam nut on there, putting this onto your valve stem, tighten that jam nut up there, use the wrench, and it'll lock it down to keep any from just anybody from coming along and unscrewing them and taking them from you so you can lock them into place. It does come with a valve core tool, and it comes with 20 of the batteries. So it comes with 10 to originally put in them, and then 10 replacement. And to put the battery in is pretty simple. All you have to do is unscrew this cap, and then your battery will insert right in there. It tells you what direction to put it in. Insert your battery. Now there is a little O-ring on the bottom. It does come with extra O-rings. That'll help seal it when you put your cap on and tighten it down. It seals it, keep any of the weather out. So it's pretty simple to replace the batteries. <clears throat> now, we do offer additional sensors. As I mentioned, this will monitor up to 22 tires. It comes with 10. If you need additional sensors, we do sell those separately on our website. The monitor holder right here, this is designed to mount to your windshield or your dashboard with the suction cup application. At the top here, it has a nice ball and socket design. Let you adjust the monitor into optimal viewing position. And your monitor can attach because it's magnetic. Mm -hmm. So you can see it'll just attach right there, and then you can move it into whatever position you need, even horizontal if you prefer. And then once you get it where you want it, just tighten this up and it'll hold it into that position. It does also come with this Rhino booster right here. This will strengthen your sensor signal, eliminates electronic interference. And it comes with this nice zippered storage bag. Put your monitor in. Now to actually put it in there and close it, you would have to unscrew your antenna right here. So once that comes off, you could just put that in there, zip it closed, have a handle to carry it, put your antenna in there. Once you open it up, take your antenna and just go ahead and screw the antenna back on. 
Now if you do want to turn this off, the button at the top is the on and off button. For off, you got to hold it about 10 seconds. So after about 10 seconds, you'll see that it'll beep and go off. <clears throat> A few specs on this with the tire sensors, the diameter of them, it'll be right about three quarters of an inch. The height on them, right about one inch tall. Now the pressure range on these sensors is zero PSI to 199 PSI. Operating frequency is 433 megahertz. Operating temperature range is negative four degrees Fahrenheit to 185 degrees Fahrenheit. And the battery life is anywhere from about nine months to 14 months. And again, they do include an extra set of batteries. The monitor itself, measurement on that. Overall height, not including the antenna, is about five and three quarter of an inch. Including the antenna is about seven and a half inches. Width on it is right at four inches wide. And the depth is only about three quarters of an inch deep. Screen dimension, corner to corner. Can we write it five inches? Battery life is about two weeks to four weeks, and then battery recharge time is about six hours. And as I mentioned, it has this nice thick operating manual that will describe how everything operates, how it connects. But that should do it for the review on the Tire Minder Bluetooth TPMS for RVs with the LCD monitor and the 10 external tire sensors.